What's on the agenda, dude? Well, uh, dude, we're going to start with Dundurn Castle. Castle? Cool! To rescue a maiden fair! To slay the evil dragon! To unlock the Chamber of Secrets! No, no, no. It's just called a castle because it's a very fancy home. It was the home of Sir Alan Napier McNabb, who was Premier of the United Provinces of Canada. This was before Confederation. In 1867? Whoa! That's Dundurn Castle. It sits on one of the last examples of a picturesque landscape in North America. Everything is designed to look like a beautifully composed painting in complete harmony with nature. Totally peaceful. Well, it started peacefully. A man named Richard Beasley built a farmhouse here with beautiful views of Burlington Bay. But during the War of 1812, the British turned the farm into a military base. Alan McNabb was already a war hero as a teenager. His success continued as a lawyer and a politician, and by 1835, McNabb had bought the property and built Dundurn, Gaelic for Fort on the Water. Fort? No kidding, I feel like I'm at a bank. I think that's what McNabb wanted you to feel. A talking painting? No, down here. It's me, top of the topmost mouse. I'm staying at Dundurn en route to meet my grain shipment to Thunder Bay. I'm a guest and your guide. A tour suite. Ew, better not let Topper see my playlist. And so Topper shows Jerry all around Dundurn Castle, restored to 1855 at the height of McNabb's career. It was all decorated in the Italianate villa style, complete with faux marble finish. They head up the curved walnut staircase to the master bedroom, adjoining rooms for the McNabb girls, Sophia and Minnie, and the upper hall. Pretty big house for a family of four. Actually, Jerry, up to 10 servants also lived at Dundurn, working seven days a week, sometimes extremely long days. There was the cook and her kitchen staff, footmen, maids, carriage drivers, groundskeepers. And the butler, of course. Sir Alan's most trusted servant, Wellington, was in charge of the staff, security, meal service, you name it. <laughs> it's like Dundurn Abbey. Wellington was the only servant who didn't sleep in the cellar, and he was paid more than the others. So was the cook. Best to keep the cook happy, eh, old chap? <laughs> Back in the War of 1812, the British built many defensive walls with underground passageways and gunpowder storage to protect against an American attack. Thankfully, that never happened. You can find out more about that at the Hamilton Military Museum, which is located right on the grounds of Dundurn at Battery Lodge. Cool! Hey, Topper, can I McNab a photo? <laughs> Certainly. Let's take it in front of the dovecote. This is where they raised pigeons for meat. Dundurn Castle is a national historic site. But if you want a taste of the lifestyles of the Canadian rich and famous circa 1855, take a turn into Dundurn. Wellington, where the devil is my tea?